What's up, you guys? It's Trey Long Girl. And today, you guys, we got some more um, videos to react to. Today, you guys, we got something different. This is a Jubilee. Um, can revival gangs coexist peacefully? Honestly, I think they can. Why lead to violence? Um, how good are you if you're dead? Some people um, always say you choose the life you live, but some people feel like um, some people choose to be in a gang. Some people feel like they have to be in a the gang. They're like they have no other choice. They have no other option. So you judge no one because you don't know how they are, how they live their life, and until you walk a mile in their shoes. So I don't judge no one, but I feel like why lead to violence? How how good are you if you're dead? So to your family, to yourself, to your kids, um, we all can change our lifestyle. It it can always convert into something better. Um, you don't have to live to die. You do live to die, but you don't have to live to die young. So let's get straight into it, y'all. Can Revolver Games coexist peacefully? Y'all let me know down in the comments. Still think I'm again almost guaranteed that I'm gonna die from street violence. Are you okay like, with that though? Well, it's, have you accepted that as I, a man? I, I, yes. He choose. He grown now. He choose. I wanted my message to impact gang culture. You know, uh, I'm one of you. Wherever I end up, you're gonna you're gonna know that you can end up rest in peace there too. Yes. But I don't believe. I think that was over jealousy. I mean, it could have been gang violence, but I think Nipsey that was over basically jealousy. I was affiliated with the Blood Gang for my entire life. My heart, my soul, my family are Period. blood. I'm affiliated with the Capanilla Park Pyros. The Athens Park Miller Gangsta Bloods. Pyro Gang. Black Peach Stone Jungles. I'm affiliated with the Roman 60s. Been gang banging for most of my life. No high school diploma, but I feel like I know it all. <laughs> <laughs> when you young, you know, the excitement of it, the brotherhood, you kind of like fall victim to it. But I feel like it also prepares you for the real world and gets you ready for like a lot of like obstacles that you might run across. Everybody just labels a gang member as just a terrorist threat. You know, just not real human beings, but it's, that's not facts. the fact. Facts, because we are humans. It don't matter the way you, li you live your life. As a stripper, a prostitute, a gang member, a robber, a thief, we all are humans. We all have feelings. Um, yes, these people might have did horrible things. They might have made mistakes, but so have you. Everybody's, nobody's perfect at all in this world. And hey, they're not terrorists. They made a decision. and how to live their life at that time and moment. Hey, how you doing? You all right, brother? Squabble, boogaloo. Okay. Starting off shaking hands. They all from, the, all right. Yo, what's going on? My name's Seti Mack. I'm from Atis Park. I do um, rapping, comedy, and I'm the jack of all trades, really. My name's Jay Nasty. I'm from Compton, Spook Town. Freshly paroled from prison, a certified welder. My name's Squabbler. I'm from the jungles. I'm an up and coming artist from Los Angeles, California. My name is Skip Townsend, and I come out the West Adams area, and I'm a job developer and also do human development as well. Yeah, I'm Boogaloo, West Side Nellis. I'm one of the CEOs of Rosecrans Entertainment. Um, my name is Wyas. I'm from Cabanella Park. I'm an up and coming artist, and you feel me? I do a little bit of everything, just try to play my part. My name is um, AD. I'm from Rolling 60s. And I'm a street activist. Most of them do music. Gangs aren't as bad as the media portrays them. We all come. <laughs> That's not the world. It's everybody big up. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about this stuff. A lot of people like in gangs, you know, we grew up together as like brothers. I can go spend a night at my, my homie's house, you feel that like mama feed me, you feel what I'm saying? And together, we done came up with ways that we could uh, feed the children, we done did backpack giveaways, we done did all type of shit, but the media, they always put out the negative about us, but they never like put out the positive shit that we done did. I feel like the media got like an old school perception on what game banging is or what game banging is about, and modern day game banging has evolved from what it's been back then. So now it's okay for Bloods and Crips to go to school together to where back in the days, 
you couldn't find a crib at Centennial, you probably couldn't find a blood at Crenshaw, like, you know what I'm saying? So now That's crazy. Days, we can't coexist. They don't never really show the unity of it all. Like, mm -hmm. they, they always show the separation, the segregation. They don't really fathom the, the strength and the power we got inside our community. And I really don't think right. they really care about that. They put us in this one statistic box, That's how I feel you know? Right. And they leave us right there. That's what they want us, but it's really up to us to say, Okay, at least the next, at least, at least the next generation, we're gonna come with something. We're gonna come with positivity. We living, but we really not surviving. We two in competition mm. with each other. Everybody hard now, though, you know. So I see everything on social media and everything. I'm really locked in with all. I mean, I posted something positive about me giving backpacks away and stuff at the park and all that with the homies and stuff. It didn't. It got like what a thousand views, two thousand. I get like five thousand views, and I'm posting something crazy though. You get me? Yeah, when so when you doing positive, media. you cloud chasing. Yeah. When you doing negative, it's all good because that's what we used to. That's the bread and butter, I guess. That's what we already do. So what's happening right now is you about to leave a legacy, right? But it's not going to be a financial legacy. See, if there was... And you have to understand when the media portrays, not only gang members, portray anybody, that's how other people in the society see them. You see it on TV, you see how the gangs and the violence is and how the news is. And it's not as bad as it was in the 80s and 90s, obviously, like you said. They have came together and they have united, so um, it's very different, but when most of society portrays someone, people have that mindset, oh, these people are like this, these people are like that. So when they say they help the community, people are like, how are you helping the community? Where did you get that money? Obviously, you know, we all know where they got that money. They're in the streets, they sell drugs, you know? To that, they kill people, you know what I mean? So does murderers, <laughs> so does rapists, you know what I mean? It's crazy to me how they get big boy numbers for people that choose to do this, but then you got rapists and uh, pedophiles and all that shit out here that's only getting like seven to ten years. Like, it's just crazy. Them, they should get a life. Like, <laughs> that's just crazy to be. Something you was doing positive and all them 5,000 views you got, they gonna dwindle down to about two, three hundred if you was empowering the community and shedding light and like you saying, waking people up, then all that's gonna go away. But as long as you got the negative influence, well, you're going to leave that legacy, but ain't nobody going to be able to eat afterwards. Mm. Mm. All of them. That's crazy, man. We ain't even got to get up, man. Just ask your hey. question. <laughs> sit down. The first time I ever seen somebody close to me pass, I was, I was young. My older cousin. Happens right every day. House. Another, another, and another black man. Just, just typical statistic game band. And it's like... Visualizing that as a young as a young boy is like that's probably one of the reasons why I am who I am today. It's traumatizing. Like it's, it's traumatizing and it instantly adapts you to, to to your community, to your environment, to where you at. Because it's like if you don't get down like this, you're gonna get down like this. I was 19 years old, man, and I had seen a lot of people get shot. But I was sitting there talking to this dude. It was actually Yes, the environment you live in can get your mindset and it can put you in that mentality to where you're just stuck into that mentality. But I honestly feel like you can grow and you can mature and it doesn't have to always be like, I seen this and I seen that because that's just an excuse of the past and all the negativity you've been through. Yes, it makes you stronger as a person. Yes, it makes you stronger mentally and like he said, get ready for this world. But uh, we can make better choices and get into a better environment. The kid, Kevin Sykes from 60s, we sitting there talking for about an hour. I'm waiting to go skating. And as soon as he crossed the street, the van pulled up. They had been waiting the whole time, and they gunned him. And that's really fucked me up, man, to see that. They could have easily just came up and, and gunned us both. It wasn't about Cripper blood. It was just about that anger and rage, like, man, want to hurt somebody. And, man, it, it, it left something, a void in me that was yeah, like Yeah, they was chilling. Like, man, what is God doing? But also that rage was like, man, I want to mm -hmm. hurt somebody. Just snap. And I, and I took it with me from the age of 19, and I just felt suicidal. Like, I signed up every day to go out and be dead. I didn't care. I'm going to hurt somebody. They're going to hurt me. To this day, I still think, I'm again, almost guaranteed that I'm going to die from street violence. Are you like, okay with that, though? Well, it's, Have it, you accepted that as I, a man? I, yes, I accept it because it's like all the so negativity I done dished out. See, I want to say something get because this is what's causing me to to change because I made that same pact, that same vow for my gang, that I'm gonna die for my gang, I'll do life for this shit. Yeah. But 
recent shit has showed me that, nah, I got another purpose. I could do something else. I don't mm -hmm. have to die to game banging. Let me, let me ask you something real quick, though. You got a child, a baby, a girl. I got, or... I got four beautiful blessings. You got beautiful four beautiful yes. blessings. So here's the thing. Would you die for them? Of course. But that's not what they want. No, that's, that's they they need they you to live for them. Yeah. And you ready to go out every day and die for them. And them the same people need you to be alive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Damn, man. I didn't... Yeah, that's not what you just said. You just say you would die for these streets. You think you're going to die in these streets. You basically saying you have that mindset like, I'm going to die in these streets. But just like the other man said, you don't have to change the mindset. Just say he got four or five kids. What are they going to do without you? How good are you if you, you if you dead? Useless. Lost so many homies. I lost some crib homies. I lost some blood homies. I'm over with this game banging shit. He ain't had nothing to say if back. If something happened to y'all, y'all will see that I'm so serious about this shit. But I'm on a whole nother mm. note, homie. Respect. You feel me? And I don't want to lose y'all. But if motherfuckers don't wake up and let's be save each other so it don't have to be yeah. no more losses, we gonna lose. Straight up. I think peace between rival gang is possible today. I do. I really do. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. Look at the peacemakers move. Though. Right, right. I've actually did it. That's why I feel like it could be peace. I feel like the people that came up front, I feel like my total opinion, I feel like they're more mature. Mentality is more mature. They are growing. They are seeing more to this world. They have more stuff to live for. And that does not mean disrespect your gang or you know none of that. It just... So you see, it's more to life. But say so with my enemies, and we, ki we, we cleared the air and, and killed our little difference. Now, it's not peace between all my enemies, but it's peace with the main enemies, yes. with us. And we not even go call it peace, we will call it an understanding, because that's what it was. The understanding was y'all stay on y'all side, we stay on our side. No, Don't disrespect no that line, and we good, and keep all that internet goofy shit, you oh, know, really? dissing. Y'all keep that shit out of the circle. And we good. And it's been working so far. We had a little bumps and bruises, but it's been it's working. Been working. This, this question was complex to me because I'm thinking, like, are we talking about individually or gang-wise? Are we talking about in today's world? Yeah, yeah. Or, like, are we working towards the future to, to get better? Because I believe that in the future, sooner or later, we are going to be able to function. Yeah, yeah. Right now, yeah. with, with, with things that's been going on in the politics, it's yeah, hard to yeah, see it. Yeah. With the eight trays and the six mm -hmm. souls, that was an eye-opener for L.A. because yeah. it was like, that's what modern day gang banging is working towards right now, it just takes time. People nowadays, like, it's a revenge cycle. It's people that's gonna, that'll kill you that don't gang bang. They, they family or friend or somebody yeah, you, that, my you feel me? So, right, so yeah. it's like, sometimes the peace don't even be like on us because we're not bigger, nobody bigger than the car, you know? So it's like, all right, how is that, how is that one person right there just gonna say? But I only think he's saying that because he has done so wrong to so many people, honestly to the point you have to always look behind your back. That's what you call karma. You can't just keep doing people wrong. You can't just kill 20, 10 niggas just because you felt like it or just because, oh damn, I was angry, I was mad, and now my mentality changed. Yes, you're gonna always be looking over your back, especially if you still in the same hood, in the same town, of course you are. So I feel like this young getting right here in the um, beater, I just feel like his mentality is not there all the way. And totally my opinion, you guys put yours down below. No disrespect, but obviously this is my opinion. It's peace today, and then everything else is just peaches and cream. I look at it like, peace today is out just for the simple cause of the matter. Like, it hasn't been a long period of time without a death or without a retaliation or without a, another man, woman from, 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 from a rival, rival gang getting murdered. Show that you don't want to come to my hood and bust on me or knock me down. Let me show you the same thing. And then once we get that understood, then you can go about your life and go about my, my, by my business. But it's a thing called leaders and followers. Yeah, yeah. It's some leaders that's going to be speaking peace. You're going to have some, some leaders like, no, they done did too much. It's this history. This is what it is. So it's like, as much as you want peace, I just live life for my individual peace. He's not mature all the way either. Joining a gang is a choice. Mm -mm. Uh, that's, no, that ain't no choice. I mean... No. Yeah, I'm a it all depends. Like I said, it all depends. It all depends how you grew up. Some people feel like it's a choice. Some people feel like they had no choice at all. 
Some people got bullied and wanted to stop, so they joined a gang. Some people was, they feel like they're inherited into it because, you know, their moms, they pops, they oh, daddies, grandmas, you know, they some OGs. They been in the game, so therefore, you know, they they already in it. You feel me? They, that's all they seen when they grow up. You can't pick the parents you choose, you know what I mean? You can't choose your parents, what I meant. And you can't choose where you live, but you can change the way you live. Step up to that. I believe that at the very bottom of joining the gang, it's ultimately a choice. The power of influence is is crazy, and, and, and it will blind you to make you think Pressure. that it's not. A lot of people is family orientated, are born into it, but at the end of the day, I have the choice to say, yes, this is what I want to do. No, this yes. ain't what I want to do, no matter what age I am or not. I feel like it's for sure a choice. It's not like how it used to be where, like you said, you feel me, you, you, you got some type of ties to this game. Yeah. Nowadays, it's like, oh, that little nigga look turned. Hey, you, you, you hang with a nigga for a cool amount of a time, build a relationship with him. If you really a nigga and you feel me, you really got stripes and rep like you do from your era, you could easily take him over there and make it happen. It's a choice to certain people. Certain people just got to go with the flow. <laughs> this, it's not so much of a choice. It's like, it's like a way of life where, where I come from in my family because we always gang banging. Like, I, I grew up to, to seeing blue rags. I grew up to seeing my brother's gonna fight their enemies at parks. I grew up to seeing dope sacks. I grew up to my daddy whipping dope in kitchens and all. Exactly, I seen the same thing. My daddy, they a whole crib. Some, some of them in the day at mafia, but at the same time, at the end of the day, you make the choices. You make them choices. I lived that life. My daddy was a whole ass drug lord. Like I lived that life, but you choose the life you live, especially if you don't want to die young or always be in prison. All that, so it's like. That's not a choice. It's just, it's a, a, you adapt to it. You adapt. Because that's I want you to get older. Shit. It's this a shit choice. Shows me. I signed up and they accepted. You feel me? This shit like the military. Let's not play. <laughs> I mean, mm. you know, my daddy from Compton, you know, from a kid, this nigga had me in this red Cadillac, slapping through Compton, rolling up weed and in dope. My mama side of the family, my cousin from Palmer Block Crip. Then I got other cousins from neighborhood Piru down the street. And then, I moved to the 60s at eight years old. Then my older cousins, they start game banging, you feel me? So it was just a way of life for me. This is what my family was about. It was no choice. I'm luckily I have exactly big homies to where they, they didn't want me to game bang. You feel what I'm saying? They always told me play football. I had homies that didn't want me to game bang either. You feel me? They was like, AD, go play basketball, go play football. I even had a nigga that peanut. He used to come to me and say, Stop game banging. And I used to think this nigga thought I was soft, y'all. But the whole time, my he nigga was being a real man and doing what me to do this shit. You feel me? I want to be Bruce, Bruce Lee, man. Bruce Lee, I want to come home and kick everybody, man. But the Crips was at the movie theater. So we had to fight the Crips. And I'm nine years old, and I'm like, man, I want to go to the movies. So it wasn't a choice. It was like, man, am I, at the age of 13, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to stop being a victim. I'm going to fight back. I'm more afraid. Than I am a rival gang. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Man, <laughs> can, I, can I start this? Can I please? Hey, I'm starting I'll this. I fear the police because they the biggest gang in America. Point blank. <laughs> I think you just spoke so, for all of us. They yeah. basically got all right to knock us down yeah. with, no, with no justice after that. Yeah. And on the side of them cop cars, it says to protect the sir. Yeah. But they ain't doing none of that. They, they, they taking us. So it's like, of course I'm going to fear you because you the one that's supposed to protect us. So I'm looking at you in the sense of, Okay, you're supposed to be safety, but no, you really coming at me with your gun out. Right. You feel I me? But, I, but I'm looking at this man, I know how he coming. Right. It, it's, 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 it's not a facade yeah, how you going to come, so I'm, I'm, I'm prepared for how you going to come. You feel me? So when a cop come at you, why off top? I'm, if I'm supposed to be protected and served, why I got to put my hands up all the time? Yeah. Just keep it simple. But let's be honest, if a gang robber come for you, you going to put your hands up too, because they, they ain't even thinking twice. They're not even thinking twice. I mean, police sometimes don't think twice either, but at least they gonna say, put your hands up first. <laughs> uh, the nigga, he ain't gonna say, put your hands up. He just gonna pull it out the car. <laughs> Boop. Hey man, I'm afraid of the police because, let's say for instance, my enemy shoot me and I survive. I can go revenge and honor that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. The police shoot me, I survive. What the fuck can I do? And he can like smoke me and can get away with hey. it. My home. Ain't go, ain't go right. rally up we and go smoke them go. niggas. I know, you know where to go? They just sent him to Santa Barbara somewhere. You feel what I'm saying? He had a whole Hey, we all humans. Anybody can be touched. That's it. <laughs> I want my kids to be in a gang. No. 
No. Not at all. Not at all. That's how you know. It ain't no good. That's what should make you think twice once again. I don't even gotta speak on this. The reason why I wouldn't want my sons or Hey, the one in the red pants limping, he done got shot in the leg or something. He limping. My daughter to be in a gang is because of the way the perception that society has on a gang. It's not about the way the community views a gang because all that is the address. But if my child is from a gang, then I don't fear the communities around it. I fear the police. I fear that if if my son break in a house, well, he should go to jail for a year or two. But if he in a gang, he gonna get a 12 year enhancement. I don't want my daughter to be in the gang because Reality, there's only two roads to this shit. Either death or jail. It's only death a few that slip through the cracks. Unless you make it's it, like, it's a I, just, I, don't, I don't want my kids a game bang because I, I know how, 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 how game banging limits you. Definitely. You know, it, 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 it keeps you stagnated. You know, you, yeah. can't, you, can't, you can't go out there and, and, and be right. adventurous and see yeah. the world. And, yeah. Like for my son, my, my son, he can grow up and, and love a woman. Right. And her brothers could be from, from a game that yeah. Now you can't even you can't even love who you really want to love because you know yeah just don't don't limit yourself. I don't want my kids to limit themselves. You feel me? This generation of game banging is, is a gift and a curse because it's kind of beautiful because we come from a generation that we figuring it out, we breaking it out. We got a lot of black entrepreneurs. We got sports players. We got rappers. We got um, people that um, got their own clothing lines. And this is all people that came from a gang. So it's like, we not all bad just because yep. we came from a gang. But as far as my kids getting involved with that, you don't have to gang bang to do all this stuff because you could go way further doing it if without those gang ties. But also, gang culture influences every. Tupac got influenced by gang cultures and cost him his life. So it's like, <laughs> so, so it's, it's like gang culture influences everybody. But for my That's kids, not all the way my nieces, true. my nephews, and everybody <laughs> under me, Tupac. I do not want that for them because it, it, it took so much of my life. Me personally, I don't have any kids. But this topic right here, I got a little twist to it. It's the definition of the word because see, us being black, the definition of a gang is, oh, they hoodlums, they thugs. But if you're from a white gang, oh, that's a collective community. They just, they just some regular people that do this. No, nah, that's not true. <laughs> I know, <Flynn. laughs> and them niggas go to jail right along with us. <laughs> so he being judgmental, of course, black people get in trouble way more and they get judged more and they get um, seen in a negative way more, but why niggas get in trouble too? <laughs> same thing at the same time every day. So you know what? I just might want my kids to be in a gang. A damn good one. Yeah. But like our LAPD or our sheriff, some yeah, shit for yeah, us, yeah, you yeah, feel yeah, me? So yeah, I would hell yeah, I want my kid to be in a gang, a yes. positive one though. Don't do this video. Real members aren't going to show up. Yeah. 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 Certified. I feel like that comment is probably very kind of like valid in a sense because everybody would question that, like what type of gang members would mm -hmm. want to speak openly about gangs on You gotta TV. have open mind. Like that's what separates the leaders from the followers of that gang. So it's all it's I mean, all a mindset, y'all. <laughs> it's really it's really a mindset. I'm talking about getting over beefing with your enemies and everything. It starts with your mind set first and hopefully I um can shine enough light to other everybody see what else everybody else see what I'm doing and be like, all right, he came from that, he did this and he doing this and now look at him. Yeah, he's still back in his hood, which I really commend Nipsey for everything he did because he showed us that at the end of the day, Nipsey Hussle got so big and he died from game banging politics. He died being a 60 crip that the world couldn't even believe it. So they said it was a conspiracy. But right. at, the, at, the, at the heart of it, he lived his life as a real game banger and did what he was supposed to do. And when he died, he died for standing up for what's right, that every game banger should have felt the same way. And it showed behind the love that he got that and I feel like as a game banger. Yeah, that's people how, ain't even really know Nipsey. People ain't really know Nipsey until he died. Everybody was all up on it. I'm just like, y'all didn't even know, dude. At the hell all. Y'all just now getting hit to him. You would want your legacy to be when you when you die. It's like 
I'm bigger than gang banging. For the people that 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 that, that judge this gang banging and all that, it's like this, like. I'm you and you me. I could easily live your life if I was put, if God placed me right there. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, all right. We're going to end it there, y'all. It's just like two more minutes long. Um, I mean, longer. So, yeah. They say everything I said at the beginning. Uh, it all depends on your environment, how you grew up, um, how your family is and all that, you guys. But once you get older, I feel like you can make the same choices. Um, once you get older, I feel like you can make different choices, especially if it's a different outcome to make you live longer. I mean, especially for your kids, your mama, your life, you know, your family, you. Uh, like he said, don't limit yourself. Don't limit yourself. But don't judge either because don't judge because you ain't walked a mile in none of these men's shoes, nor any women that's out on the streets or men. Um, you live the life you live, but you got to make a better outcome of it. Um, y'all let me know how y'all feel. Can gang revive? Can can revival gangs coexist in peace? I I believe they can. It does not have to end in violence. It does not have to end in dead body or in prison. But um, you gotta be open minded. You gotta change the mentality. But you guys let me know your opinions down below. Smash like when you guys hit that random part of the family. Um, follow me at the Instagram, India Mafia, three A's. Let's go.